everyone welcome back to another day in the vlog today is day 20 i cannot believe we're already 20 days into vlogmas i can't believe christmas is five days away what i am just feeling like i need to give myself a little refresh i need a good blowout i need just some tlc so figured why not show you guys i'm kind of hungry so i'm like should i make myself something to eat first i had some toast with my coffee and now it's 11 39 so it's almost noon um and i'm like okay i have that leftover chicken so i could absolutely make myself something just like quick and easy i'm wearing my hot pink shirt i got this from amazon this was actually part of my halloween costume and i like this shirt so much it's so soft and comfortable i'm not 100 percent sure what the fabric is made out of but it's really soft i'll leave a link down below it comes in like a million colors i would absolutely buy this in almost every single color like it's so good and like the length like it's cropped but it's not like tiny tiny cropped it's like like it meets like right where your jeans are and it's just really soft and really comfortable very easy like throw on basic and it's very very affordable so i'll leave a link below for you guys if you guys are interested in like a nice cutesy little top so i always like to let my hair air dry before i go in and blow dry it because it just takes too damn long when my hair is like soaking wet i have a couple of orders that i'm gonna do because i can like i have some of the i have the pieces so i'm gonna do those orders and then i'm gonna um head to the post office rock those orders off and then just kind of continue on with my day but yeah i'm feeling good i'm in a good mood thank god and i feel like i just need to tidy up this room again like there's just some stuff from like over the weekend and like some shoes and just some mess that i need to just clean up um, even though I have not started putting anything up as far as the racks and the shelving and all of that all of that will come I just still want to keep my space Just clean. Okay, I'm about to make myself something to eat and I don't know what because I have chicken I do have a Caesar salad pack. I don't know if the lettuce is still good on this Oh, yeah, it is Maybe I could do a Caesar wrap because I have this. I have tortillas. What if I make a, buff, uh, a chicken Caesar crunch wrap? I might be onto something. I am on to something. Maybe I want buffalo chicken too. This is going to be good. Let's see. I'm definitely going to use my air fryer. So I'll air fry my chicken. I guess we're kind of just going straight into lunch because I really want that bacon. Two pieces of chicken here. I'm just gonna throw them in there to heat up. And then I have this Caesar kit right here with lettuce. Okay, so I'm just kind of winging this. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Caesar dressing and I put it like on the base here. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of buffalo sauce. I love buffalo so much. I'm not gonna put too much because it's really wet and I don't want it to like make it soggy, you know? You guys, I'm out of Olipops and I'm so sad. I kinda wanna go like make a quick little Publix run and grab some, maybe later. I pulled the chicken out of the air fryer. It's hot as hell, obviously. Throw it right on there. There we go. I really hope this tastes good. I mean, I feel like it, why wouldn't it taste good? Let's do some lettuce. I don't have any more tomatoes. If I did, I would put those on there too, but it's okay. Let's do a little more of this Caesar. Let's throw the arm just a little. Sit. Oop. Go ahead, just eat those. Um, okay. A 
look at that. I feel like you can make anything a crunch wrap, honestly. Look at that. It is so hot. I need to give it a second to like cool down. Mmm. 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 This is so good. Oh my God, guys. This is good. Mm. Wow. Highly recommend. It kind of just gives me like buffalo chicken wrap or uh, chicken Caesar wrap. That was a 10 out of 10 experience. Highly rec I honestly feel like you can put anything in a crunch wrap and it'll be fire. I told Tyler yesterday, I was like, I kind of want to do a breakfast crunch wrap, like scrambled eggs, hash browns, bacon or sausage or whatever, some cheese, maybe some veggies, wrap that up. How good would that be? Or like a veggie scramble with all that stuff in it. Like I'm opening up my second bag of the Lint Lindor truffles and snickerdoodle because these are a delight. I need to get two more bags before the season ends. Let's do this hair. I'm tired of looking crazy. So my hair has been air drying. It's, I would say like 70% dry, 60, 70% dry. I definitely need a haircut very badly. I'm gonna wait till after Christmas to do all the things that I need to do because this holiday season is just wild. I already have heat protectant in my hair and I'm gonna use my Tymo round brush. Um, like I said, this is not sponsored, but this is what I use pretty much every single time I blow dry my hair. I kind of just want a regular blowout. Like I don't want curls, I don't want anything like that. I just want like a nice, bouncy, voluminous blowout. I wish I had clips because I would roll my hair and pin it for like a really bouncy, 90s inspired blow dry, but I don't have clips. So I'm just gonna do my best to give myself that look I don't take super small sections But if you need more control You definitely should I always start on the bottom and with one of these round brushes regardless of which one you have This is gonna give you the easiest blow out because you don't have to try to navigate a blow dryer and a brush at the same time so in my opinion this almost gives you this is like the dummy proof not calling you a dummy but <clears throat> this is almost like blowout for dummies sorry i need to clean out my brush from last time i blow dry my hair the easiest way you're going to get a blowout look if i'm going to be completely honest is with one of these what you're going to do is you're always going to take your brush and put the brush like on top of the hair like that if you do this, it is a lot harder to gain control and a lot harder to smooth the hair out. But if you do it this way, you're basically taking the brush and you have so much um, like friction that you can get this like pin straight. So you can see like how quickly that smoothed out. So 
So you basically, I feel like the first step is obviously getting it dry, but also just getting it smooth. So now that it's smoothed out, you start working on the ends and you literally just want to keep, keep going, 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 going. And I talk about it all the time, but give your hair the cold. And I just literally twist all the way out and I don't touch it, leave it alone. It's so greasy that like I gotta throw dry shampoo right away and then you literally just do that to your entire head if you have clips um, like bobby pins or rollers or something you could use that too but I just don't care especially for every day anyway to put that much effort or time and i also i told you guys before i don't like super perfect hair to the most important part which is the front pieces so for these i always just pull forward i have a widow's peak and if you don't have one you're very lucky but i have to manipulate my hair a little bit differently than somebody that does not have a widow's peak because my hair's kind of you see they go all over the place plus my hair isn't naturally straight so i usually always start just down 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 and then i start blow drying this way and then i start blow drying that way and then i will split it down the middle or to the side and kind of work it from there When so I always have this argument with people if you're going to a salon To get a blowout and they're using any tool other than a blow dryer and a brush That is not a blowout if they dried your hair and then put curls in it. That is not a blowout if they Blew your hair dry really quick and used a flat iron that is not a blowout to get and even if it's to get a look like this if they used Anything but a blow dryer, it is no longer a blowout. This is a blowout. When it's bouncy and all I used was one thing, and it was this. I'm gonna put some makeup on, but you guys have seen me do that five million times, so I'm not gonna record that. 
I just finished packing up some orders so I'm about to go to the post office and do a drop off that'll give me some good fresh air as well I am back home I went to drop orders off at the post office I think I'm gonna give myself a couple of minutes to organize this office room just pick up I'm gonna give myself like 20 minutes tidy up so that this room feels okay and then we'll carry on with our day Focused exactly 11 minutes and got everything done. Oh. Just here to show you guys what we came home to after running to the store real quick. I told you he was gonna go for that bacon. Look at that, he found that bacon and tore that shit up. Look at that. So Leonard is punished, and I dare somebody say we're being mean. This man went into the trash, tore up an entire pack of like what chicken comes on, the parchment paper from the bacon yesterday. Empty cat food. Cat food, tin. What else is over here? Um, a crispy tortilla. A packet of cheese. This man, oh my god, you know what else he ate? The waffles. Oh, There's waffles. powdered sugar all over the floor. <laughs> all the waffles. <laughs> and there was like a few of them. Yeah. Hot sauce packets. Love that. Thanks a lot, Leonard. The powdered sugar over here. Of course there is. He, he, he grabbed had it. a feast. He had a fucking jolly good time. Yeah, yeah. He came to the door super excited. <laughs> Lost his damn mind. And I just mopped this floor again yesterday. So we went really quick to Publix. Damn it, my battery's gonna die. So, we went to Publix real quick because I wanted to take advantage of the BOGO chicken. That was like the main reason. I was like, listen, chicken is buy one, get one free. We need chicken. So, we went real quick to the store and then Tyler had the best idea, one of his best ideas all year. Why don't we make cinnamon rolls from scratch? And I'm obviously not gonna say no to that. So, just bear chicken breast fillets. I'm not sure if they're still gonna be bogus by the time you guys see this. If they are, pick them up if you're gonna go to Publix. We got some unsalted butter. We got all-purpose flour. We got everything that we didn't already have. Um, Tyler got two containers of Cool Whip. Not sure not for the cinnamon rolls, for his pumpkin pie. We needed active dry yeast, 
cream cheese for the frosting and then we just grabbed a quick Cetaphil cleanser because we're pretty much about to be out and I'm going to buy um, our Use to the People one. I think it Sephora for that. Yes, I do. So, that's our mini grocery haul. Nothing too crazy, but we will most likely be making cinnamon rolls. I just want to say I've been burning this, the hot pink candle that I got from Bath & Body Works. This is crushed candy cane. I don't know what it is about that candy cane scent, like that minty, crisp, especially when it's cold out, is stunning. Like, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I did my toes. Not that anybody needs to see my feet, but I did my toes. So I feel cute again, and I'm actually about to start dinner because I'm freaking hungry. I also cannot believe Christmas is Monday. We gave Lenny a bath today. So he looks beautiful and shiny and gorgeous, but then he went into the... Or, sorry, I'm having like random brain farts. I could use noodles and make like an Asian stir fry noodle. I feel like that could be kind of fun. I just restarted um, Jane the Virgin. This show, me and Tyler watched it during the pandemic um, and we loved it. We thought it was so funny, especially Rogelio. He is a star. He's the star. What's up guys? Um, it's nighttime. It's, as we call it, sleepy time. It's bedtime and we're getting a cutie little cold front today. Or tonight, it's, all, it's been cold today, but tonight, heater at 72 it's dropping down to like 43 degrees so we are getting ready for bed i washed the bedding today so we're getting that put on leonard is very tired after his punishment Wash this face, take this makeup off. What happened to he gets no sympathy from me? Daddy. Why are your socks all over? I swear there's just wads of socks everywhere. Let's wash this face. Cetaphil. We don't use this ever, but here we are. I have to go to Sephora. Oh. Would you like to see the cleanser in action? It feels puffy. and red, but clean.
skincare. Polish Choice exfoliator thing. I'll just put on the Skinergy Beauty Facial Oil and always finish it off with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And Laneige. Putting a little bit of this on. And that is it. Clean the face. Hydrated. And it's time to go to bed. <laughs>